Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Boss Battle Show live and in your faces. I am the one and only ever so mysterious. Never mysterious. Adam Ronan. Pepperoni nipples. Pepperoni nipples. And uh, to my left (laughs) is the beautiful TJ Combo. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing out there tonight? To my beautiful, to my boner forward, the ever mysterious boner noon we call it. Go <laughs> Yo! And then to my your other boner, my other boner <laughs> I, my, is my boner. Go ahead. <laughs> is uh, never cross boners. <laughs> is uh my uh, newest addition to my harem is should we just call you Jared? Yeah, Jared, that's my name. Because so he got I'm it. Gonna... He got it at Jared. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. Jared. I'd like to point out that I got his Twitter handle wrong, so don't try to follow I yell folks. They don't exist. I checked <laughs> it's it. Not it's there. not actually a person. His uh his actual handle is I yell at folks. Like the symbol? No, no, no. No, no, like no. AT. Like AT. AT. Like a AT AT. Like a walk. AT AT. Like a walker. And those are the people. Those are the people that are on the stream. Um I'm glad we finally have a pretty face around here. Yeah, we're so sick of bleh. all those supermodels we've been having on. Uh, we thought we'd get like some hot sausage up in this. Yeah. Boo to vaginas, I yeah. say. Boo to them. Yeah. Um, no vagina, hell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we that's yet to be seen. Yeah. <laughs> Stream just got started. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get started. Um, we whipping it out. Mm-hmm. Let's get a. Uh, let's get some. Maybe we should get some backstory. Tell us about yourself. Give yeah. What do you do? Um, I think I do. You make cooking videos. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't make cooking videos. I don't, okay. I don't scream about them either. Um, just uh, Mate balls. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I um I do mostly uh, web development. Um, I work odds and end jobs here and there. Uh, work at a liquor store, so I guess you can come see me and buy some. Do we alcohol. get a discount? Uh, I do. So if you okay. know me, did I, you bring any extraneous liquor? No, you guys said you had liquor. We do, but we can the always cake use was more. A lie, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. And you uh, are a thriving member of the Throb- of the, of throbbing, the you're a throbbing member of <laughs> of the FGC. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you What do you play uh, primarily? Uh, well, I mean, Ki was my jam, like, and that's K- also my jam. Yeah. What's high five high about five. that? Mm-hmm. High five. Yeah. Oh, I reached. It's actually yeah, a good yeah. slap. No, it's because I'm fingertip. Long ass arms and shit. Yeah, yeah, and we did it without spilling anything in between, which is a lot. <laughs> True debt. House nice. of Cards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I hear you're pretty good at MK. Uh, MK, yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I was on uh, Wednesday Night Fights when they did their online channel. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, rest in peace, online channel. Yeah, right? I wish I would come back. Yeah, I enjoyed that yeah. because. It was. It's not easy for if you know you're not in California. Yeah, to, I was. To told, I was going to do it for Street Fighter. I was like, I'll do Wednesday yeah. Night Fights, and they're like, No, you won't, Tim. No, no you're not. <laughs> I'll fly out here every week. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, top eight a few times. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was a Kung Lao. Got uh, got bodied by Alex Valle a few times. That was that was exciting. Sweet. Yeah. Who's he main? I've never even seen him play MK. Uh, I don't even he, know who that is. He used a <laughs> Shinnok on me most of the time. Of course he did. Yeah, that was did he play the Bone Hands he... variation? No, no, no. Because no. that's so silly looking. It's mm-hmm. it's actually really good now. Yeah, I've heard it's good, but yeah. it doesn't change the fact that it looks dumb. This is going to make it seem big. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, cool, man. That's, well, we're really happy to have you on the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm stoked. So. Yeah. Um, and then Gordy, is, he's here. Where's he at? <clears throat> Yo! <laughs> Let's get into what we're geeking on. He's, um, in a, he's in a cave back there, apparently. Yeah, he's in his cave. Hello, hello, uh, hello. <laughs> Let's get into what we're geeking on. Why don't we start with uh, guests first? So, what are you playing this week, or watching, or partaking in? What are you doing? What do you tell the people? Well, I mean, I was. What are you inside of? <laughs> what am I not inside of? <laughs> let's make a let's make a shorter list. <laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, you guys, we're, you know, going to talk about Rogue One, but uh, mm-hmm, of course, mm-hmm. yeah. super, super excited. Because you're a Star Wars fan. Oh, of course. I mean, look at the hat. <laughs> mm-hmm. like Boba, mm-hmm. Boba Fett. So. Yes. Actually, three out of the five people here are in Star Wars garb. Three out, three out of five people would agree. Sh- Tim, yeah. sh- you can't see your shirt, Tim, but. Uh, it's got to flex him. It's got to flex him. It's got to flex him. Don't flex him. We need the camera. It's not wide angle. And uh, okay, so you're stoked on that. You've been playing uh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter, yeah. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. We played. I mean, God, yeah, we, we played some Street Fighter. We had a really massively long set. Yeah, massive. Mm-hmm. So. Um, God bless you, Capcom. But you know, you need to fix that online. Uh, we're, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. To Complete you, trash. It is. So yeah. are you on the end of people being decently unhappy with the basically how the launch has been, even post launch? It's been a, rock, a rocky start. Yeah, it, it really has. Um, 
I mean, the, the content, I mean, for, for me being in the, in the FGC, you know, with, uh, with mm-hmm. Tim over here and everything, we, uh, oh, the way to leave me out of that. And, Thanks. and, and Adam, I guess. <laughs> Adam occasionally. <laughs> and, 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 and Adam shows up, he gives us support and, you know, he's, I've never played. Have I we give played? you a, Dude, I fucking bodied you at KI for a little bit. Yeah, well, and then I, mean, I but you, are, you bodied me at Street Fighter. Yeah, everybody. There were bodies. There were bodies were hitting the floor. Flopping. If only somebody would write a song about that. <laughs> how does that? How does that go? Is it um, Corn sings that right? No, <laughs> don't. It's that guy that he, and he died of a cocaine overdose or something. Yeah, Tim yeah. plays long sets with everyone but me. That's. Because of your garbage Wi-Fi, Israfel. That's why. Oh, yeah, yeah Israfel. Yeah. Shout out to Magic Jack. He's your sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to McDonald's, uh, McDonald's Wi-Fi. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and then you were trying to play KI together. We're trying to set that up, but your Windows 10 is giving yeah, you some, it, the fritz. Uh, apparently, I'm not the only one. Uh, I've heard that, that people are having ca- issues yeah. with KI on Windows 10. Yeah, it hasn't been issue my network, my network it. adapter, it just it doesn't recognize when I upgrade to Windows 10. So it you just, actually might have more issues coming. You just don't right. know it I yet. just don't know what the issues yeah. are. Because there's been quite a few. I've heard there. It's, it's not a, a rocky super, launch. Yeah, it's, it's not, not super smooth. smooth it's not the smoothest. But I mean, it's not a Capcom launch. No, it's not. I mean, you can play the game if you <laughs> yeah. want to. Like, mm-hmm. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, cool. Great. Gordy, what are you geeking on? You want to... Swing that mic over into Here. his ma. Put that, put that in his mouth. There you go. Nah, nah, I'm good. What up, Gordy? Um, Wait, he's I'm geeking on almost some... in camera. Almost. Oh my god! <laughs> like, like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> A little taste test for you. <laughs> Those of you that might have tuned in last night, you would have seen the beautiful nah, Gordy. That wasn't me. Oh, it was his doppelgording. 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 Yeah. Um, you know, I've just been working, but aside from that, I've been playing the Zelda one. I'm working through all of... I decided to work through all the Zelda Does games. that mean you're going to finally finish A Link Between Worlds? <laughs> oh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, so I've just been playing the original. I watched some videos online of some of the, like, how people speed through it, and I've been testing that out. Oh, cool. So game, that's about it. Quick. Is that the hmm? test? The games don't quick, guys, that do all the speed runs? No. Well, maybe. I, I've yeah. watched a few speed runs, so. Yeah. We're just bits and pieces, so. Uh, shout out to Tyler in stream, who just bought a free Gordy shirt, so. Oh, thanks, Tyler. <laughs> the, all, the proceeds go 0% to Gordy. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's awesome, Tyler. Uh, send us a, tweet us a photo or send one of us, you wearing that, and we'll. Gordy will just slather peanut butter all over himself and get a little weird with it. <laughs> Mr. TJ Kappa, what are you geeking on this week? Uh, so as we mentioned, we had the long Street Fighter set mm-hmm. um, that went super long into the night. And Jared and I were geeking out like some 15-year-old girls talking to each other about life. And on our, the phone. It was like three hours. Our like it was 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, yeah, it was 3 a.m. When yeah, we got the he, phone. Told me, he was yeah. like, yeah, I talked to Jared on the phone till like 3 a.m. And I was like, what, what <laughs> fucking twirling the cord in my finger. <laughs> so, I was like, What's Susie's that? first crush. Yeah. Shut up, mom. I'm on the phone. <laughs> yeah. It's like, she tries to use yeah. the internet. It's like, <laughs> 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 we, were, we were talking about all kinds of stuff, though, like music and video games and horror movies. Both. Yeah. All three of us are horror movie guys. Horror. Horror. Movies. Horror movies. Horror movies. We, like, horror. we like. Oh, shit. Actually, we're, we're not on the same page. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. We're talking snuff films. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> straight up sex and murder. Like choking stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> gotta get a chat Don't judge. Yeah. Don't judge. And, uh, and part of that was because one of my clients got me. Uh, that autograph picture yeah. from Robert Englund. So I got it all yeah. framed. It looks awesome. God, listen it's to like listen sleep out. kills. And he's like, I grew a couple jealous hairs on my back. Yeah. Listen to how bassy I sound. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> very, very bassy there. Yeah, um, on top of that, Bob's Burger season five on Netflix. Yeah. Get my comedy fix going garbage, on. Garbage, garbage. I, I love it. Bob's Burgers guy. Yeah, He's not a not a big spot. Bob Burgers fan. No, no. H. John Benjamin. Period. No, we, no, go, no, we go over no. this every week. He just it's hates not, on. I him. don't hate H. John Benjamin. Mm-hmm. It's just he's never fucking anybody but H. John Benjamin. He's always it's just true. like, I, but hey, what's like not to me. like about? I'm making it? A I, like, joke. who else would you want to be? Yeah, like if you're already him, like there's no reason. To I'm be not saying else. the dude's not funny. I just like when I see one character, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Now maybe mm-hmm. do something different. Like you wanted him as Deadpool and not, not Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, <laughs> Lana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it either. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what uh, up? Yeah. Y- and then uh, Yogi Shin. God damn it, I can never say this person's yoga, name. Yoga Flame? Did you say yoga? What? Yogi? Yoga. yoga. What? Isn't it Yogensha? Yogensha, oh. thank you. Jesus, fuck. Um. <laughs> it's Theogensha. Theogensha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Theogensha's uh, in the sound house. It out. Sound it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me tell you what I've been geeking on. 
All right. A little bit of quantum break. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. How quantum break. It's good. Super cool. Max, uh, Max Payne, right? Well, it's not Max Payne. <laughs> it's Quantum Break. But it's, just, it's the same <laughs> yeah. devs, yeah. Um, we, yeah, I, I put in... Wait, like, wait, original Max Payne devs? Yeah. Or? No, 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 not no, Rockstar. No, no. It's original. Why wasn't I... I, I it, well, <laughs> everyone knows it's Remedy Studios that put it out. I just figured you knew. Uh, pff, nope, we didn't have that conversation. I'm going to... All right, I'm going to buy that way home. I mean, Oh, dude, it's... Babe, if you're watching, I'm about to bust that credit card. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. Um, now, Grant, I'm only maybe three or four hours into it, so I don't know how repetitive it might get, but right now I'm very much enjoying it. Super cool. Yeah. I did. Uh, I saw somebody online was talking about, like, they're like, oh, I just got a 30-minute cutscene, and it was, like, super enjoyable. The because it's all based on, yeah. like, your actions and stuff within and the game. And each... So oh, no the game. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, it's like well, Mega Choose Your Own Adventure. Oh, yeah. And the game is broke up into acts, you know, like mm-hmm. Act 1, Act 2. And then you play Act 1, and then after that, there's Junction 1, which is a bridge between the acts. And in the junctions, you play as the villain. Nice. And then be, after each junction, it plays you an episode of the show. Mm-hmm. Um, and the show, they film like tons of different scenarios for each play style. But depending on what you do in the game, it shows you that version of the show. And these are live action. Live action, right? mm-hmm. yeah. ta- tailored to stuff, your... Yeah. So maybe, like, maybe it's a 30-minute episode because you did this... Oh! Mookie's Mookie. hooky. Mookie. Mooks. I love that girl. Mookie Mook. What up, bae? Um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's our girl. That's our in right there. Yeah. You know where she works? Oh, she works at Fleshlight B. Fleshlight girl. No way. Yeah. No, no, no joke, dude. I might have 12 or 13 of those. Yeah. Oh, dude, let me borrow, <laughs> let me borrow one. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For sale. I, mean, I told you. Her, don't wash it. Don't <laughs> wash it. I told her to try and hook me up with a refurb or something. Yeah, right? You know, but no. <laughs> I actually, because she's in our Discord. She chats in our Discord that you never oh. partake in. And um, <laughs> make some notifications for that thing, though. That's what sucks. All you got to do is turn them on. I did. I don't get any notifications. And then you don't have them turned on. I'll prove it right now. <laughs> anyway, and she anyway. was talking about Fleshlight, and I was like, can you hook me up with like a Joanna Angel like molded Fleshlight? Mm-hmm. I can't remember what she said, but it was probably something like no. But <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, no. Uh, yeah. Yes, Moki, we're stoked to have you. Thank you for joining. Um, Quantum Break. So anyway, if you do like certain things, it might shorten or lengthen your episode um, based on your play styles. I have, haven't watched them yet because I want to play. Um, so I'm going to go back and watch them. Oh, you're not required to watch it. Doesn't just go. You can skip it. Oh, yeah, nice. you can skip it if you want. Isn't it like vital to the story though? Yeah. It's like it, the experience. It, it, it's and you're like, nope, I just don't <laughs> want to play. Ex- not today, my friend. I got some shooting to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's vital to the experience, but it's uh, um, it's all from so far from the bad guys' experience. Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. Yep. Oh yeah. So, and uh, like, cool. But I want to play through the pro tags experience, and then I'll go through and see how the bad guy did his shit. Very uh, cool. So yeah, it's great. If you want to play it. Do it. Play it. Yeah, yeah play it. it I don't know awesome. if it's $60 great yet, but I'm enjoying myself. So. Well, I mean, if you look at like the actors and the production value and the time that goes into developing yeah. something like that, I feel like it's got 60 bucks worth and I haven't played it. Like, there's some effort there for sure. Yeah. That's not just oh, like, yeah. oh, they're like, yeah. Oh, uh, they, the budget had to be huge because the actors are stupid in it. Like, they got a Lord of the Rings guy, the fucking dude with the ears. Uh, <laughs> he, he's a. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> hold, hold on. What, what? He, the Lord of the Ring guy with ears. Yeah, he's, he's, he's one of the hobbits. He's the one of the brother hobbits. Oh, oh. well, that's not Lord maybe. of the Rings. That's no. from the Hobbit. That's the yeah. He's one of the hobbits from the Lord Hobbit. The or no, maybe it's Lord of the Rings. Yeah, anyway, he's got fucking ears. He's got they, ears. They pop out like a motherfucker. Yeah, it's, you not, get, it's not Pippin. It's the other one, isn't it? Mary. Mary? Is it maybe Mary? it's Mary. Mary. I can't remember character names. I'm Mary. not like a, I'm not like a big Tolkien dude, but um, look it up. He's a fucking guy. He's a <laughs> Google character. it. IMDb is there for a reason, people. <laughs> um, so yes, it's good, and I've been playing it. Nice. Done. Done talking about it. Fair enough. Um, and you went and saw a movie with. Um, oh yeah, Gordy and I went and saw Hardcore Henry yesterday. Mm-hmm. That wasn't that cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. Glowing it? reviews. Now let me tell you, uh, they're mixed reviews, is what I've seen. That's well, why. I mm-hmm. Here's the thing: a, it's f- all first person. Yeah. Um, so imagine a very frantic movie in first person. Can make a motherfucker nauseous as I look over yeah. and Gordy's like, holy fuck. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> the motion sickness band, like he's on a boat yeah. and, <laughs> holding uh, his head up, looking at the horizon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, and I've been reading a lot of reports that people are like, I can't watch this movie. It's fucking. St- yeah. And Gordy was like, dude, that made, made me nauseous. Uh, Dominic, it's Dominic Monaghan, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah, that yeah, guy. Boom. Bone knows. Um, the bone. Anyway, and so, but 
It's super fucking violent, so that's awesome. That's, I'm there. Uh, yeah. So that's a very redeeming mm-hmm. factor in my eyes. If yeah. you murder somebody, I will support you. Yeah. Not well. <laughs> uh, if you have a GoPro on, Theatri- yeah. If you have a GoPro on, I support that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, yeah, dude, we're gonna get down on Rogue One trailer here in just a few minutes. You just, you just sit tight. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's super cool. But the story makes fucking no sense. There's like a weird emo blonde guy who's got like magical powers. Emo standard blonde guy. Yeah. Let's not get into it too much. That doesn't, that doesn't go doesn't together. Make sense. Well, it's yeah. not a spoiler. Because there's only like there's so little story that like anything you say about it. Is a spoiler? Yeah, I guess. But I mean, who who's like emo blonde guy? Who's like, damn oh, it, Adam? Come on! <laughs> I guess no. I'll skip that one. Too. But it, like, I don't, I don't. As far as I could tell, they don't ever explain why he can is he emo or why his hair. Right. Is well, yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, everybody it, knows that if you're blonde, if you, guy, you have to be like, like a mad German guy. If you want to yeah. see some yeah. interesting <laughs> kill scenes? Draco. It's cool. Yeah, he looks like Draco Malfoy, but yeah. with like tel- telepathy. He's like Kenshi. So he's Draco Malfoy. God, I'm loving Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> right. he's Draco Malfoy. Okay. Um, We've seen that formula But I will before. say <laughs> that the actress in it, who is like the main girl, is fucking smoking. Let me just yeah. say. Plus one, plus two. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's that. Uh, should we get in to the meat and potatoes of one of the big things we're talking about tonight? What do you guys think it is out there? You think we're going to talk about it? Hello in TV land. Uh, Gordy, what are we talking about? Who can say? <laughs> why, why, why am I caught between this? Is Jared, uh, introduce it. Let Jared introduce it. We're doing Rogue One? Yeah, we're doing Rogue we're One. We're doing Rogue One. We're actually going to do... Now, the reason we're talking about Rogue One... We're is, doing Rogue One. Rogue One. Everything will be doing in British accents today. <laughs> that's not a... That's like a Harry whole, Potter accent. No, because the whole fucking movie is British. <laughs> it's British movie. <laughs> it's so, Harry Potter. Harry Potter was like yeah, British. What are no, you talking I, about? No, no, but the, that's like a happy British, British accent. You got to do like... Um, oh, you doing so British? No, you got to do like fucking... Brown. I'm a villain British guy. How would you do that? Like... Potatoes? <laughs> oh no, he sells potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you blokes. <laughs> uh, anyway, this this is a very exciting movie. Mo- some of you might be like, "Oh, another Star Wars movie." Uh, maybe Most so. of us are like, "Hell yeah, another Star Wars." Yeah, hell yeah! But so, <laughs> Any, actually, yeah. <laughs> anybody in this stream who's like another Star Wars movie is probably not in this yeah, stream. That's, that's true. But this is an interesting because it's a prequel, mm-hmm. and we've had three other mm-hmm. prequels that were maybe not so good. But this is the prequel we deserve and that we need. Gordy, play the trailer. We're going to break it down. Uh, Pause it when I tell you to do the things. Here we go. Uh, Turn up the audio a little bit. Just a scosh. So we can get get properly get get sued. I don't want the (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So this is um, uh, Felicity Jones, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, (laughs) Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now let's talk about... Pause. Boom. She's giving me a Felicity Joner. What do we got here? This is Yavin 4, yo. Mm-hmm. This is exciting. That's a rebel with his goofy little rebel helmet that you see on Tantive 4. Mm-hmm. He's actually a, he's a speed bicycle racer. <laughs> <laughs> he's very aerodynamic. Yeah. Um, this How is, fast do you think he runs to wear that helmet? <laughs> oh, dude. At least an amount of miles per hour. Yeah. I don't, and, and like he could like do that entire thing in like British parsecs. conversions. Sure, it's parsecs. Yeah. Oh, shit, Jared. See, you just win in points all over the place with me. I love you. I said it first. Suck his dick. Did oh. you? Oh, yeah. we locked eyes. <laughs> I think we <we're> there. Right. <laughs> um, anyway, so continue on. I'm on a seven on in a British This is very though. exciting. Because, <laughs> so Tantive 4 is very exciting because uh, we haven't seen that since episode that 4. That looks like right out of Battlefront, doesn't it? Kind of, yeah. No. Uh, pause. I just want to look at her for a minute. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. Look at that Adam's apple. <laughs> I don't give a Cute shit. Little Adam's apple. <laughs> That's just my kind of apple. You know what I'm saying? Uh, pause. To all you single so, guys. So this is exciting because you'll notice this is actually the very same set from episode four where they're planning mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. things. That's Mon Monfa. Fun fact. Not only does this is a Genevieve O'Reilly, I believe. Not only does she look like the original Mon Monfa, but she played Mon Monfa in uh, episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Mm-hmm. But there, her scene got cut out. She's in deleted scenes. So oh, now cool. she finally gets to play the character in a big role. Continuity. It's yes. uncanny. Like, it's actually really cool. She, oh, dude, she, she looks, looks so good. I mean, I'm not saying like I'd hit I, it or nothing, but I she would. looks good. I would. Um, now, let's talk about this character. So there's some interesting theories going on. One, the biggest theory that I've read that I'm actually a big supporter of is that this is Big's Darklighter, oh. um, which would be very cool to see. Uh, MakingStarWars.net has said that this character's name is Cassium Willix, 
which would then mean it's a whole new character. But I am of the theory that it would be cool if it was Biggs, or it would be cool if it was Poe Dameron's father, who was part of the Rebel Alliance, and they look similar. So that would a make little a bit. lot of There's sense. Some similarities. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, uh, it'd be so cool. Uh, continue. Now, are you are you of the mindset that you want to see a Pause. lot of connections to the current films, or do you want to see like very little, and this is just like a complete side story? So here's what I want to see. The, the My biggest gripe with Episode 7 is there wasn't enough connection to episodes one two and three they were right. very focused on the original trilogy and they didn't everything was four five six like four five three, six they think, wipe it out i think they kind of did that on purpose i think so too oh, because totally, they were totally they were afraid yeah. everyone's like if they even touch on the prequels people are gonna flip out but yeah. the, like if jar jar binks would have walked in yeah. the background yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody just walks but right you out you know the thing is <laughs> nope. is i don't care for jar jar binks i don't care for episodes one and two i like three uh but yeah, no, I, if, ship. they are star wars movies and they are part of the canon so you cannot ignore them if they in episode seven like a gungan walked in the background i would be like oh look there's an alien from the prequels that's cool yeah uh so I hope that they bridge the two sagas with this movie and they do it in a respectful way where they aren't cheesy and dumb like episodes one, two, and three, Mm -hmm. but they respect them. This happened in the universe. Let's talk about them and let's bridge. So I I hope that that's there. I hope they kind of reference some of the stuff that's happening in the cartoons because that's canon. A lot of people aren't watching those. So it would be cool if they could be like, oh, uh, I don't know about that. I'm going to go watch the cartoon. Um yeah, well, it's truthfully, like the Clone Wars cartoons probably dug in a lot deeper than the movies. So dope. They, they oh. were, they, yeah. All those were good. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, Watch like 11 episodes of that a day yeah. because of my little guy. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because twist, of my little guy. Twist my arm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess we have to watch it again. Star yeah. Wars, so. so I don't know who's following the production much, but this robot in the background is actually one of the main characters. I can't remember the actor's name, but he's mocapping the character. So he's actually a part of the story. He's not just a background robot. Fun fact. Uh, Stormtroopers. This is actually gave me a pretty huge boner because those are OG Stormtroopers. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen it since mm-hmm. Return of the Jedi. It's super cool. Uh, I'm not sure what's maybe happening there, but... Um, you couldn't hear that line, but I think that that was actually pretty cheesy. I rebel. I it was rebel. just kind of dumb. I'm a rebel. So I don't know the concept. I'm a rebel, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, let's just <laughs> soak. More. Let's right. soak in this moment. So this here is a something class star destroyer. Um, big one there, and you can see the kind of the context of how big the Death Star really was. Um, super cool. That's uh, a big nostril. Oh yeah, well British people, dude. Uh, oh, you want to fuck this nostril? Uh, <laughs> Dude, that's like a three by three square. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can let it roll, Gordy, because there's some. Well, look at this. That's, that's what you want? There's a lot going Those on rebels there. and that gonk droid? Yeah. Okay, pause here. This yeah. is important. This is cool. Now, let me tell you why. Because the expanded universe. Did you read a lot of the extra books, Jared, or anything? Um, audio booked. A few okay, so did you read the Timoth- did little. you read the Timothy Don series with? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, his, his name's name? escaping me right now. Fuck, I feel like such a scrub. Um, uh, General uh, Admiral Thrawn. Thrawn. Admiral Thrawn. I almost said fraud there Thrawn. for a second. Admiral Thrawn. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Admiral close Thrawn. one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a character who's very reminiscent of Admiral Thrawn's appearance because Admiral Thrawn wore a white uh, Imperial outfit. Of course, he was a blue alien. And this guy is not. He's just a white British that guy. That you know of. Yeah. True. But it would be really cool if they were <laughs> like throwing, they're like, we got rid of the extended universe, but this character was so cool. We're fitting him in, in a different context. I, they could rework him. Be I okay. think that, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm kind of hoping that this guy isn't a huge part because I would really like if they did Gen, um, Admiral Tarkin or Grand Moff Tarkin. I'm sorry. Mm. Um, uh, there's rumors that they're totally redoing him as a full CG character. Mm. Uh, Peter Cushing's likeness, like to the T. Really? Um, if they if that's true, I would be very excited to see that because uh, Grand Moff Tarkin oversaw the construction of the Death Star, so you can't leave him out. Hopefully, better than the CG in Episode Three, though. That was because he was he was CG. that was the CG that was makeup. That was just some dude with. Oh, a was it? I thought they CG. Oh, okay, it was no. bad. Yeah, it was. Whatever it was bad. They I, ran I out of CGI yeah. budget. Like, <laughs> uh, uh, make that guy this paper look like on. this guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a guy. That's, that's Forrest Whitaker. Forrest fucking lazy eye. Fry uh, fry 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 by. <laughs> uh, death trooper death trooper yeah. that's i'm super stoked about this and, I, and this kind of reminds me like when gordy and i were kids and the cool thing we liked about the ninja turtle games is we were always like man it'd be really cool if like there was different colored foot soldiers for like different classes of foot soldiers yeah. like they did in the games in and the we're games. like that's so cool it'd be sweet if they had different kinds of stormtroopers before they actually had them and now they're doing it so like these are like elite stormtroopers right. it's super of cool. course it's like really easy to see like bright orange ninjas dropping down to steal your tv yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nunchuck right. ninjas uh, yeah you know? uh, okay uh, continue 
Or like the one who has like the big sledgehammer and he's like, damn it, I hate this job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's just one There's guy. There's one scene I want to talk about in particular, so let's roll here. Um, that's a subway in London. Fun fact. Okay. Ooh, Donnie Yen. Donnie Yen. This is exciting. Now, those of you that aren't familiar with Donnie Yen, this is Ip Man himself. Yeah. Um, if you're not familiar with him, go watch Ip Man. Yeah, like one and two tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't seen three yet. I haven't either. Mm-mm. No. But you've seen one of the two. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, continue. That sounds like a group outing. Though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To the living room. And he's doing Donnie Yen things, so it's cool. That guy's doing... You don't, you don't hire Donnie Yen to not, not do you, right. Donnie Yen. He's like, all right, uh, so stand you here. want me to mix it up a little bit? And they're like, whoa, no. <laughs> hey, whoa. There's no martial whoa. arts in we this We hired film. you to be Asian, yeah. okay? Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, they, they did the same thing, you know, with Ray Park. You know, he's an international, yeah. you know, uh, he's a stuntman and martial yeah. artist. That's true. And he's Darth Maul. I actually have some theories. Um, continue, Gordy. I'm making... There, Okay. <laughs> There's, there's so many things happening in this scene that maybe you don't know about and we don't know about, but let's talk about them. A lot of people are like, oh my God, Darth Vader. That's not Darth Vader. Darth Vader no. does not wear a hood, never has, never will. It's uh, not going to happen. It's not going to happen, people. Get it out happen. of your dreams. We see no Vader in a hood. two red Vader Imperial Vader. Guards. Who are the red Imperial Guards, Jared? Who, who, do they, who do they guard? Oh yeah, the Emperor. Yeah, we got he, They we guard got Emperor Pal- Palpatine. Got Palpatine. What does Palpatine do? He wears a hood. So I think this is Emperor Palpatine. He's gonna kick some ass. But what does Palpatine do? He doesn't bow. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't kneel before anyone. Who could he possibly kneel before? I have some theories. Let him rip. I think that that's a back to tank. That looks like a back to tank. Those of you that are not familiar, back to tank is the the tanks that heal you, like Luke was in and mm-hmm. uh, on Hoth. You think that looks like a back to tank? If we go back to Episode Seven, canon, they say it's. Plain as day that yeah. Snoke has been around Snoke, for yep. eons. You're saying it's Snoke, Snoke or Plagueis? Is, I think they're the fucking same. I think they're you think one it's the same. same. See, that's the theory that I think. I think they're one and the same. And J.J. Abrams is like, it's not fucking Plagueis. Get over it. But he also said that Khan wasn't Khan. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. <laughs> I think that that's Plagueis. I think that um, he's healing in a back to tank and he's the fucking be, end all be all of the dark side. And that's who Palpatine would bow to. And I think that that's how they'll tie everything together because Plagueis obviously gave birth essentially to Anakin mm-hmm. because he was born formed, of the force. He was born of the force because of pa- Plagueis was dealing with so much dark side that the force was like, we need to counteract this. And they you and, could, you need to drop and, that tumor. Yeah. yeah otherwise it's, they, 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 they're like, let's fucking, <laughs> let's get a force. Jesus. Kraken. So mm-hmm. Anakin, yeah. so there was, he was basically the reason of the original three. And then if he was overseeing, the behind the scenes, Palpatine's rise to power and everything that would tie all three trilogies together and would sit nicely within my realm of thinking. Yeah. So, sound off if you think I'm being silly, but I think that's what's happening here. Or you dare think I would engage you in that battle right now? <laughs> <laughs> or another thing that could be possible because Darth Maul, canon wise, is not dead. He's been in the cartoons and he just <laughs> reappeared in Star Wars Rebels. The season finale, he's still alive and kicking, mm-hmm. albeit half more yeah, machine now half, than half Zabrak. <laughs> and uh, he, I maybe he's, uh, I don't know, fucking, he's trying to revive yeah. Maul and they giving him a second shot. I'd be cool with that. I probably not. Absolutely. It's not that, happening. Yeah. Everybody. No, of cool. course, you guys all, you probably saw the uh, the fan made Darth Maul film that oh, was yeah. out there today. That was good. Dude, I was so jealous. I was oh. beyond jealous. Like, I look at our own short films and I was like, you know what we should have been doing? <laughs> yeah. But they did like that three years it took them to do it. Yeah, dude. It was like, that was a labor of love, too, because you can't get any money out of it. Nope. Yeah. But that's true. Um, great. It was, I thought great. it was fantastic. Continue. I, that's the, this is the scene I mostly want to talk about. We can kind of let it roll now. Uh, oh, this is. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Look at these. There's people choo, dying, choo, choo, and these choo. are sweet ass ATATs. These are actually different than the ones in Empire Strike Back if you really yeah, want to get real done with it. Uh, those are actually larger, so cool. and uh, they look, they look a little bit different. And here is Felicity Jones doing something dark sidey, mm-hmm. probably infiltrating the Death Star to steal the plans. Is there any sounds at this part? Well, I've watched it numerous times, and sometimes I hear it, sometimes I don't. But when uh, Lazy Eye McGee says, what will you become? You can hear <laughs> Darth Vader's breathing. <laughs> but sometimes I hear it, sometimes I don't. So I don't know. It maybe might it's maybe it's in your head. Maybe it's just it could be. Uh, and I think that there's Having something there that they Residual. added. Yeah. Residual. <laughs> it's like, I smell. Yeah, it's I smell. always there. Yeah. I smell burnt toast. All those years of standing Why on is my stage. my left arm not there? Like, <laughs> ringing in there. <laughs> um, anyway, there it is. That's the trailer. We broke it down. Yeah. And those are my theories. I'm, I don't know. You all want to I can just sign out now because this is turning into Star Wars Fest. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
You can. <laughs> you can if you want. <laughs> well, see you later. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to say I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> cool. So, yeah. So we it's, just, uh, December, right? December 16th. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, who's excited? I'll be there. I. Yeah. Jared, you in? Oh, yeah. So we should all order tickets. Times. Should we? Gordy, you don't want to go? No. Gordy's out. Gordy's a pass. That's all right. That's all right. I'm getting in line this week. Oh, cool! Nice. So he won't be here next weekend. I was just gonna, I was just gonna pre-order tickets. <laughs> we'll go to that theater fan- with the company. Probably seat. just Fandango, but you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. But if you're there, pick me up one. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck, Mookie? Mookie. Just Mookie. God damn it! You just lost so many respect boners that we all had for you. Respect boners. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Christ. Um. Anyway, down cool. to an eight out of ten respect boners. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, and anybody in the chat, feel free to draw out what eight out of ten respect boners would look like mm-hmm. with emojis. Just because mm. I'm curious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you can. Yeah. Oh, you can. They'll find a way. Uh, <laughs> okay. So let's move on to some other subjects. Um, <clears throat> I don't know who watches The Walking Dead, but the finale was recently. I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, like I guess. There's a lot of mm-hmm. horror about it. Um, if you're in the chat and you haven't seen it yet, I don't know what to tell you. I don't think Spoiler we're giving... Alert? I don't think we're giving away a spoiler. No, we're not they've because nobody knows. Time, nobody Sunday, knows tomorrow. They've had a week, but it's not even like really a spoiler because we don't even know. Because no, yeah. they left like a massive cliffhanger. But I mean, if you, if you don't know, so what happened? Well, if you didn't know, Negan was coming. Negan then, made his his grand appearance and yeah. was pretty sick. The Jeffrey, Jeffrey the comedian. Morgan, like he's awesome. Or Thomas Wayne, if you yeah. saw Batman yeah. versus yeah. Superman, the which com- is weird because Maggie was yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, the comedian, stri- yeah. Zack yeah. Snyder, Watchmen, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, who he's always good. I think he's <laughs> fantastic in everything he does. So he played a great Negan. And if you uh, read the comics, which I'm betting some of you don't, I don't think we have a lot of comic readers uh, as fans. But mm. in the comics of The Walking Dead, this scene plays out as it does in the show, and he fucking beats Glenn's head in with his with Lucille the bat yeah, and yeah. kills Glenn. Uh, very graphically and it's just a huge huge turning point in the comics it's like a big moment um, it was one of the biggest everyone moments. was expecting it to happen and lots they of adversity continues to occur they continue to overcome yeah the story continues to drone on <laughs> yeah. oh wait yeah. there's a lot Sorry. of walking <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's some dead yeah. uh, <laughs> coral there's a lot coral. of coral uh, coral coral but everyone coral. was like coral. this <laughs> So AMC had the opportunity for this to be their red wedding, so to speak. Yeah. This could have been their huge turning point in the story. People die. It's like a huge shocking moment. Fucking fans are like devastated and they copped out on the fans. They totally copped out. Copped out on the fans and everybody is livid. Right. And uh, I almost thought, you know, maybe they almost didn't know who they were going to kill off. Let's let's check the reaction. You know, it's like, well, I was going to say it, but I wanted to see your reaction first. And then... And then yeah, and, then and that's true. I think, like a second away from yeah. like the old like Fox TV thing where they would do like, all right, if you want to see Glenn die, yeah. dial 995 on your portable <laughs> phone. <Yeah. laughs> that's true. That's actually true. I think that they are um, doing a left curve. They said, oh, the finale is going to... We're doing a left curve yeah. from the comic. And so obviously that says they're not going to kill Glenn. You think they're killing... I think Norman Reedus is... Norman Reedus' Daryl character is going to kill. Yeah, I think that... I agree with you. I think they're going to kill off Daryl because he has... He doesn't do anything he, except he's a. He just, fixes he's a cool. motorcycle sometimes. He fixes a motorcycle his, and he's his been, own motorcycle. Yeah, pretty you selfish bastard. Yeah, <laughs> it's like he's fixing everybody yeah, a motorcycle. Just one motorcycle. Yeah. My hog. Yeah, and he's cool. He's a cool character. He's like a, got he has that a crossbow, badass. dude. Like that's automatically like ten. Cool yeah, he's points. got that badass mm-hmm. factor. But as you mentioned, he's got other projects he coming does. up, and that's a huge, significant telltale sign of actors <laughs> moving on from the show they're on. Uh, and you have to wonder if they even ever came close to anticipating the success that it has now. Because it's not just the show. They have to do this. They have to do, like, The Talking Dead. They have to do the podcast. Yeah. They have to do, um, you know, Walker Stalker Con. But they know, got a certain their... amount of time. Like, their contract is massive. Yeah. It's, like, all of their time, even when they're not filming. Yeah. And actually... Action figures... Well, they don't have to do the action figures. They do have to do that. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, do the like, scan- they do this. Ah, look at my- yeah. You have to go in for scanning day. Yeah, they, they do. They Is that what they faces. do now? They don't fucking carve plastic anymore? Just stick their face in a vat. <laughs> There's an old man in a rocking so chair. He's like, Norman, you better not move again. <laughs> I'm going to bust your ass. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, uh, Justin says Steve Young has a uh, movie coming out, too, so... Uh, Glenn, Glenn, right? Steven, Steven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's so gonna be. There? He's gonna do one of the voices in the new Voltron. Is he really? Netflix. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. one of the voices. Mm-hmm. I'd rather he just move his focus over there. Yeah, I'm Voltron. Duh. I just, 
I think they should just fucking kill Rick and just fucking throw a just huge d- curveball. <laughs> and it'd just be like, there is no season seven. They just send out a tweet. They're like, we killed Rick. The show's over. But now, is he still alive at this point in the throw comics? Throw millions of dollars. Yeah. Down the drain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's alive, except he doesn't have a hand. He got his hand cut off. Right. Actually. Because he does die in the comics, doesn't he? Yeah, he's no, alive no, still. no, no, no. He's, he's still, still alive. He's still alive. I thought Coral, he died in the comics Coral, and then Coral. Coral takes over. No, he's uh, still no. alive. Coral. Coral. But unless, because I haven't, I kind of come in and out of the comics, unless in a recent time Rick has been killed. But as far as I know, he's still alive. Yeah, maybe we're wrong, but yeah, as maybe, far as I know, yeah, he's, he's still there. Totes. Mm-hmm. Goats. Um, but even... Um, God, what's the fucking guy's name? Who? Jobin? I don't know. You said Totes <laughs> McGoats. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> no, who's the guy? The uh, fucking dude who... The Walking Dead guy. Uh, the creator. He does the comics. He oh, does Kirkman. The show. Yeah. Ro- yeah. Robert, Robert Kirkman, Kirkman has gone on record like, saying that Carl is actually the main character of the comics. Mm-hmm. The story's focusing around him growing up and doing all this stuff. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually killed off Rick to do some sort of turning point for Carl. Yeah. Or they realized that because like when you get a kid actor, it's an investment, right? Especially like Game of Thrones, like we're watching these kids grow up mm-hmm. and then you realize that Coral is a shitty actor. I love that you keep like, calling him Coral. Yeah, Coral. but you're like, maybe <laughs> let's not build anything around this kid because he kind of sucks. Yeah. He'll yeah. Sh- he'll like he's just really whiny. Okay. Coral, like he's, stay in the house. Coral. Coral. That swoopy hair thing going Coral. on all the yeah, time. He's, How does he even shoot like that? Come on. Like, I don't know. I, I could Mac when I had my hair in front of my face. It's kind of like having your nose. Like you don't see it all the time. But it's yeah. There. And he's like, oh, I, I don't want to kill any zombies today. Oh. Dad, stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my chemical romance. Just not blaring my in the background. Coral. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um... He is the worst. Yeah, totally. Oh, Life on Mars. Thank you for joining us tonight. Howdy. My dear. Um, Do you know why there isn't any gambling in Africa? Coral. <laughs> coral. <laughs> yeah, that Too many cheetahs. <laughs> coral. <laughs> coral. <laughs> coral. That, is that that meme where he's like he's getting just close? just in his face. <laughs> <laughs> I love this so much. <laughs> Holy God. Oh, shit. Um, okay. So, anyway, point being is they, they really missed a big shot with that where they had their red wedding but Mm -hmm. speaking of shows that don't fucking give a fuck about your emotions game of thrones comes back on the 24th Mm -hmm. uh do we have opinions about the future of Jon snow he's dead no, I don't think he is. I think he's dead. I completely oh. disagree. You think he's yeah. like? Oh, Melisandre's there. She's Melisandre's gonna, gonna, she's gonna come, like, like walking into town right as he dies. Thought, yeah, Melisandre's gonna be like, check come out this. In. Maybe come, look at this smoke baby coming out of my puss. Maybe it'll like have a Jon Snow smoke baby. Mm-hmm. No, they'll have like a just. It's a. It's a, a lot of people. It's were a smoking thinking. munge type thing. I think. <laughs> oh, she sits munging. on him and Christ. punches Hashtag, herself in the stomach and then munge. I love it because nobody knows what munging is. What's munging? Well, uh, uh, we'll yeah, <laughs> yeah dead, fucking... dead but coming back from the chat he's going to be undead with a weird winky eye i know he's i think he's mm-hmm. gonna be about, like, muted what, i'm not caught can... up right, not Mookie, like... damn girl what do you do with your free time what what is she saying she cannot caught up oh my god yeah like she just sits there and plays with flashlights all day you can't watch tv <laughs> well, okay, to be fair to I, be, maybe, I, yeah, maybe i'd skip game of thrones too. i can understand that. you can't watch yeah. tv while you graphic design pictures of plastic pussies i mean that's i mean I may, right? maybe some people get distracted easily. I'm not going to yeah. judge. <laughs> uh, I couldn't I code with Sports play. Center. On. <laughs> you know, I'd be like, Da-da-da. okay. Well, for Mookie, <laughs> hashtag spoiler alert: Jon Snow died in the last episode of Game of Thrones. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, for the Maybe. for the watch. I think he's dead. You guys? No, dude. He was. He's confirmed to be back this season. He was shown yeah. filming but scenes, I mean, you know, flashbacks, flashbacks. No, that's everybody's, everybody's answer is always flashbacks on that. I mean, yeah, that's the perfect cop out answer. Well, they, yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Flashbacks, <laughs> flashbacks, 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 hashtag flashbacks, hashtag. He, <laughs> flashbacks, he actually <laughs> addressed this in an interview. Someone's like, "So, you know, we saw you filming. What the fuck?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm back, but I'm just like came back to shoot a few scenes as my corpse." And I'm like, "No, you didn't. You fucking hacked." Right. Ooh. And the other thing too is like, so they had like the drone footage of him. If he was a corpse, he would have some makeup on. Well, and plus he was like in a field with his swords and stuff. But with like, he wasn't like makeup and on at all. He was just like a dude. Yeah. If he came back as like a corpse, he would like white or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, he was just there'd like, be, was there'd he, be practical he was effects his on his face. Regalia, right? He yeah. was dressed as yeah, Jon Snow. Uh, surprisingly, he was still wearing the uh, the Night's Watch. Yeah, outfit. Sure. Like he's not giving up on that. Are you looking it up, Gore? I mean, like hopefully he comes back and then takes that back over. Could too. be like his life flashing before his like, eyes as it leads into. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lydia yeah. says a dream sequence. Oh, yeah, oh, so a dream sequence. Oh, dream. <laughs> Fuck it, yeah. yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> Patrick Duffy's getting out of the shower. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that, third pic, that third picture of what are you looking uh, up Gordy? these are like weird pictures 
Oh, that, there's yep. There's naked Jon Snow. Naked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, look. There's Jonathan Taylor Thomas in the corner. JTT. What happened to that guy? What is he up to these days? He's dead. Is he? He's no, not coming also, out. <laughs> look, there's a promo for Game of Thrones. Pull that up on the media screen for peeps to see. Okay. Even Does that face look dead to you? Does that look like a poster? Why would you theme a poster off a character that's just going to be just an a, extra as just a corpse? A now, to be fair, fuck with in Game of Thrones maybe, land, maybe. the backside of this picture is him tied to a stake right before they burn his right? carcass. And we're like, he's back, everybody. And they're like, torch your fucking plans. <laughs> <laughs> I like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, like, I, don't I, don't know. Know. I think he's going to come back. And uh, I hope that Ramsey Bolton finally gets his come up in this season. I'm sick of that guy. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. He's a poop. Man, poop. speaking of Ramsey, Jonathan Lipnicki. <laughs> speaking of God, uh, that kid is such a huge head who? now. Jonathan it's Lipnicki, giant, right? Oh, is that the fucking eight pound head kid? Yeah, but his is like sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> he's the puns. Oh. Give me a screenshot of him, Gordy. It's gigantic. He can't, Jonathan Lipnicki is an adult. He cannot spell Lipdicky. Lip, <laughs> maybe he can. Who are you talking about? That fucking kid, Jonathan from Lipnicki. Give Jonathan. me the money. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Show me the money. <laughs> Show me the money. Give me the money, Gordy. The, fucking... the kid from Give Me the Money, the yep. Lip Dicky kid. <laughs> Jonathan McGuire or whatever. Yeah, Jer- Jer- Jonathan McGuire. <laughs> Go- <laughs> Gordy just. <laughs> you sound like my grandpa. Gordy just Googles <laughs> Lip Dicky. <laughs> a movie that they made overseas or whatever. I like how Lip Dicky. Lip- Dude, Lip- you're, just gonna get, you're just going to get forwarded to Fleshlight.com. Oh, shit. There's a picture of Mookie. Oh, Good job. No. People with tattoos of dick on their lips. That's, That's fucking hype. I. <laughs> So much, yeah. So yeah. much effort went into that. <laughs> we can't find it. Lip dick yeah. is not a thing. We yeah, can so see. the guys will have to Google yeah. it. <laughs> uh, oh, Israel says <laughs> Game of Thrones is fine. Walking Dead was off limits. We are completely caught up on Thrones. Well, you, we you should have fucking said that thirty minutes ago before we, we started talking about we it. We didn't give any spoilers. No, but though. there were no spoilers. There's yeah, no we don't spoilers. know who's dead. The you show don't. didn't give any spoilers. There's a lot of dead people in the Walking yeah. Dead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Hashtag like, zombies get killed. Walkers. Yeah. Walkers. I'm sorry, Izzy. I old didn't people, know that you... Old people in walkers <laughs> talking about Jonathan McGuire. <laughs> Jonathan McGuire. <laughs> I gotta go into work oh. and whittle me some toys. <laughs> Draven says that they Stay. muted the show. <laughs> no, you stared at my face, so it's okay. I, little does she know that Izzy can read lips. He's like, no, I mm-hmm. can't stop. That's why I always talk like this. <laughs> uh, well, we won't Nobody spoil you see. anymore. We have nothing more to spoil. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's move on. What else are we talking about? Uh... Gears of War. You want to talk about Gears of War? Because I do. Yeah, yeah let's talk about yeah. Gears of War. So they finally put a date on it. Nice. Which means that they'll... Nice. <laughs> Everybody, real quick, one <laughs> after another, give their best you start, uh, Marcus Venus. You start going... Venus? Okay. Venus. Marcus Venus. <laughs> Dom! <laughs> okay, here we go. Dom. Ammo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I think I lost. Hubris! <laughs> Hubris! It's uh, your turn. I gave my yell. Yeah, I already oh. I said nice yeah. first. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean that he only has like Dumb. Dumb. Yeah, you're way better at it. Dumb. That's because they slip on that shit and break uh, their neck. Dude, I'm yeah. S- yeah. <laughs> I'm so good at impressions. Dumb. Give me anybody on They're person. sinking the city with a giant worm. <laughs> yeah. Soul train, baby. A four Andre. Hype. Love me some A four. Um Love me some Andre. Andre. I love Andre too. I love Andre. He's a good dude. I wish we hung out with him more. He's good people. Yeah, stop ducking us, Andre, for hangouts. To do that? No, but never... you guys are in each other's backyard. I'm not in your backyard. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. All these uh, Ric Flairs in here all of a sudden now. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. So they did announce that the uh, Gears of War 4 is dropping on October 11th. Mm-hmm. Um, on Windows 10 as well or just Xbox One? I would imagine it's both. It's got to it? be Windows 10. And you won't be able to play it. It better be. Yeah, you know, because yeah. mm-hmm. I'm a PC, no. PC master. Did you know that uh, JD, the main character of this, is Marcus Phoenix's come... Come, come up and production. Yeah. Come production. Come productions. Fornication station. Yep. Relocation. He had sex with Anya. Yeah. Anya. Anya. Yeah. He was like, ooh. And then it went to the egg. It's all about the kids, you know? And he was like, dog. <laughs> dog. <laughs> and he, he was thinking about Dom. Nice. He was like, dude, it's for you, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, you know how the sperm got in the egg? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> The only thing I'm bummed out about is I'm super stoked that the coalition is a thing now and they're mm-hmm. like the new devs, which I guess are probably some of the old devs. <laughs> but like, so Marcus Phoenix and Coltrane and Dom are all like these weird misshapen steroid dudes. Mm-hmm. And now they look like actually regular people. I fig- wish they would have just 
you know, pick one design or the other. Like, yeah. Well, there's you, no reason to like not stick to the big over the top comic, like cartoony looking yeah. style. But guys. now they kind of like have toned that down. It's always, right. it's always kind of been that way with Unreal images, though. Like all those Unreal games, totally. they always yeah. look like giant refrigerators. You know. Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Um, His son had a fear of needles, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm super stoked. I don't want to lift weights today, Dad. <laughs> and actually, the beta launches for that pretty quickly. Pre-order access? Is that how you get it? Xbox I One only? think... Beta access? Because we don't know I if wish, it's on Windows 10 or I not. wish you wouldn't ask me questions that I don't know. Um, Sorry, it wasn't about is, Star Wars. What is the square root? Yeah. No. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what is the square root of Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you about midi chlorians. <laughs> Combo! It'll um, be a good game. It better be, because their last game was complete trash. You didn't like Judgment. No, I didn't like. I thought either. the story rocked. I no, thought no. it was. I thought it was fun. You're wrong. I thought the no, online was like, terrible. You can think that, but your no, opinions are. But right. you're wrong. Right. But you're. You can think whatever you want, <laughs> but it's wrong. How high were you when you played? I mean, I, mean, I can't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> what you on a scale do. of one to Method Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah on a scale of one to Method Man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wait, why is that your barometer? Like, why not Snoop Dogg? From Method Man to Snoop Dogg, where are you? Um, I'm super stoked for it. Um, I think the beta might be an open beta. Uh, actually, no. I know that I get to play it. If you bought Gears of War Judgment, you get, uh... Early access codes to the beta before the open beta launches, so everyone will get a chance to play. Okay, so what sucks is I so obviously if you still have Gears of War Judgment from. That doesn't do anything for you. Well, Nobody, wonder... Gears of War Judgment did nothing for anybody at any point. I had a good time with it. Well, okay, now now I'm curious <laughs> to know if I have it because so my originally when I purchased Gears of War Judgment, it was on my old account, right? And I killed that account, so I have a new Xbox account. Then it won't work, probably. But I have Gears of War Judgment on my new Xbox account because of the uh, uh, the remastered edition or whatever. Oh. I didn't download it, but it's there. So I wonder if I'll get access. Um, email. Justin says Judgment was sourced to a separate internal team. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Microsoft. It was totally a team. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I think that's probably the source of it. Tim Thanks, is fat says New Guy lost all cred. Sorry, buddy. Boo. Mm-hmm. That's what you get for liking. That's what you get for, <laughs> what you get for having opinions. Knock it off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Opinions on the internet. Boo. Not valid. Yeah. Nice. Get rid of those. Nice. Nice. Um, Frag out. Okay. <laughs> Somebody close that hole. Uh, real quick, we'll just touch on it. The HTC Vive is out, so now mm-hmm. the two big VR units are out. We got the um, Oculus Rift Oculus. is out. VR Vive. Yeah. HTC Vive. HTC Vive. Is out. HTC Vive. Yeah, and um, rumors, not rumors, but reviews are saying that the Vive is a touch better than the Oculus. Mm-hmm. So, that, which really <laughs> surprised me. That footage you sent me last night of the uh, yeah. What was that from? I was from some guy playing video games. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, which unit was it from? Do you know? Uh, it was, I don't know, because it looks like on his face he's playing... Um, it was It was just truly awful. Like Nice. I'm going to... Like... Can you... I don't even know. Oh, I haven't seen it. Fun. Yeah, I don't know if that'll work. Oh. Turn it sideways. Wow. Right, You'll never see that on there. You like that? Is that a blow-up doll? Yeah. No, it's like this, like... <laughs> so he's, like, playing with physics of a woman. You can't see that. And he, like, he like grabs her boob and it jiggles, right? Here, but then he puts his hand... It. As his be- He puts his hand behind it Look and he it. pulls on it and then it, like, snaps <laughs> out of his fingers and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's just, like, a real boob. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bags of they sand. They nailed that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they nailed the physics there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I always like to get right behind my wife's boobs and just scrape them out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Babe. Scoop slam. Pull them between my fingers. <laughs> Scoop slam for days. Dude, cats in the cradle. You, <laughs> you scoop the boobs up and then you slap them down. Scoop slam. Scoop slam. Yeah, you know about scoop yeah. slam. Yeah, oh, slam. Cred yeah. back. Cred back. Mm-hmm. Boom. Mm-hmm. Um, I am. We have the PSVR ordered. We're excited about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought about getting like the Rift and the Vive since we got this new PC, but man, I don't know. I just don't want to spend that kind of money. I don't have the time. Yeah. What, what do you What do you think though? Like, I think VR is amazing. I'm I'm excited. I'm stoked, but. Um, looking at the Microsoft, what they're doing with the HoloLens, with the more augmented reality, to me, <laughs> to me that seems like it just has more application. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when they, they showed their demos, you know, I, I, you have a TV on you if you want. You have, I need to fix whatever they show in a sink. It can show exactly oh, that's, what. Um, that's a HoloLens. The HoloLens. The HoloLens. I yeah. think that those might have more application than mm-hmm. a VR machine. So I agree with you there, and I <clears throat> disagree to a degree. Disagree to agree. Redundancy so, is not redundant. Agree. <laughs> so I know you're brand new here. So we are actually huge, big 
VR guys. Well, yeah, we've been. We're very, mm-hmm. very mm-hmm. big on it. Um, what have you played with so far? Let's start there. Have you played, have you with you even the played like cardboard or anything like that? Mm-hmm. The only okay. one I've the only one I've messed with is the Oculus Rift that had a skydiving game, and it was terrifying. So I was like, I'm "Where'd just you gonna, play the Rift?" At? I'm just. Uh, I was at uh, Comic Con in San Diego. Uh, <sighs> yeah. So this was just last year. Anyway, um, that's got to give him some cred back, right, Chat? Well, yeah. Like, I mean, come on. Mm-hmm. It was a con, not yeah. our measly little Denver con. Yeah, which is still cool. Denver con's still cool. Yeah, but. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I the first thing I did is just kill myself right off the bat. It's like I got to get this over with, so because you know my fear of heights, I'm not mm. I'm not down with that. But um, it felt it felt like being there, minus the wind in your face. You know, I was like, I had my girlfriend at the time. I was like, blow on my face, like see if it feels. You're like different. just blow, blow in my face. Blow, blow yeah. And she's like, <laughs> blow fin- finally, now it's my blow turn. Blow something, and then we broke up. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I I think. I'm excited for it. Of course, I, I love all things nerd tech. Like it's, mm-hmm. it's going to be fun. There, it was fun to play with, but I still feel like I would get more. Uh, I would get more use out of something like the Hololens augmented reality. I'd get way more use out something of it. to enhance your home experience. Exactly, enhancing compared your... to something like gaming oriented. Right. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think we had like a little hiccup because we dropped a bunch of frames. <laughs> my shit froze. I broke the internet. And uh, looks like we might have froze for some people. Yeah. Um, we're fine. We're back now. But shit got a little frozen. Is anybody still with us? Shit got weird. Yeah, I did see a bunch of people dropped off automatically. And I was like, that's weird. Yeah, we didn't I, say anything offensive. No, shit froze. Um, I, we're back now, but we might just be talking to ourselves. If you're there, Whatever. say something in the chisnet. Yeah. I slit the sheet, the sheet I slid upon the slit. Yeah, it says we went offline briefly. Yo, hey, hi. Reload your page. Show dropped. Oh, that was Gordy. <laughs> Uh, yep. So we might have dropped. That might have been just an internet hiccup because it happens occasionally. Comcast for the win. So, but we're back now. All right. We'll uh, we'll cool. give you guys a minute. Just uh, you know, reload. Yeah. Process. Something in the chisnet. Everyone died. Let them get. <laughs> let them get through their. Uh, yeah, their picnicked for a bit there. The yoga ninja. <laughs> yeah. All good. Sorry, guys. That's not our fault. That's the internet. Yeah. Uh, coupled yeah. with the fact uh, Twitch does that pretty frequently. Yeah, we all no had to restart. My bad, guys. What did you last hear? Yeah, where do you leave off at? Star Wars? Yeah, so all let's right. go back well, into let's Star-, go back to Star Wars. The That's Rogue One fault. trailer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a lot of Fleshlight jokes to rehash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, continue. I think I was, I think I was done. Like, do I need no? So okay, we were asking about your experience, yeah. and you said that you got to play. Uh, yeah, it was at San Diego. Company, yeah, I got to you play you know, for some total of like ten seconds. Like it was cool. We you dropped know. all kinds of frames. We're dropping frames currently. Don't drop. Oh no, frame. we're not. Go back. Uh, Go, I'm good. sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. We're good. I we're good. Fuck, look at my fingers. Don't listen to me, Gordy. Uh, look at my hand. I mean, I, <laughs> not, as a gamer, of course, you know, I'm I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play with it. It's just it's gonna happen. But uh, as, what I would personally like, if I if I were more of a smart consumer, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but um, I would I would go with something more like the HoloLens. I think it's more, the augmented reality to me would have more application. So yeah, dude, the HoloLens is hands it's down tits. some of the coolest tech, yeah. but mm-hmm. there are problems right now that are holding the HoloLens back. The field of view in the HoloLens yeah. is not what you think it is. If your HoloLens is oh. here, your field of view is this. Have you have you played? Have you got to, to experience? I haven't got to experience it yet, but I've been following it religiously since the day it was announced. So, no. especially with their initial videos that came out that showed it like very yeah, mind blowing, and it's yeah. like no, like you're looking at your house. Like, let's uh, this. It's actually here's a good example. If you have Hololens on, your field of view is like this TV for me right here. Uh, <laughs> that's what you see, and that's just because of tech limitations right yeah. now. They'll fix that in future versions of Hololens. Plus, right now the dev kivs are sent out to people, which you could buy right now if yeah, you wanted if you to. Want to get on but they're Craig's three thousand dollars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So a commercial release, because typically dev kits are cheaper than a, than final than, than final product. Yeah. So if a dev kit right now is three thousand dollars, I don't think this is going to be a commercial viable product for a long time. So I think that Hololens, while is fantastic, is not something that. You or I will you be got a playing good point. with you do, in a while. Yeah, it's a good yeah. point. Well, and something you mentioned too is that this will be fixed in future iterations. You're assuming there are future iterations because if the first bit of tech doesn't catch on, that's they're going to have to dump in yeah. so much cash to try and catch See up. See that there? Uh, and Microsoft doesn't yeah, have. And Microsoft doesn't have any cash. I mean, they're, no, yeah, they're, they're, they're broke. broke. Yeah, they're broke. <laughs> There's nothing laying around there. Um, oh, there you go. There's a. Yeah, there. That's that's what that's about what you see. Uh, <clears throat> and you can check that out there. Um, so it's it's great. That's but cool. see how that could be break your immersion. Uh, could yeah. totally break it. Um, 
that right there mm-hmm. kind of kills it for me. Like I'm really excited about it, but I'm going to wait until there's Crocodile. something more for me right. to. Well, and truthfully, all of the gaming demos we've seen so far have been pretty awful. Like, wasn't it the was it Conquer or whatever that they had yeah. like bouncing around inside and of their own living room? They had my uh, whatever their and that was awful. <laughs> that looks so bad. I don't I don't play Minecraft, but I yeah. think they had like. Homie, don't play that. Uh, yeah. No, you're not eight, so why would you? Yeah. Um, I play Minecraft occasionally. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, so, but in terms of applications, I'm. I mean, I've said this before. I think that VR and Hololens are sick, but not for gaming. No, I'm not. Mm-hmm. I don't. My PlayStation VR, which I have pre-ordered, and we're gonna do it in the office and stuff. I don't want to use it for gaming. Like I will play the games, but yeah. I want it for other applications like to see places in the world that I cannot go to. Like I want to be able to walk across the, the great wall of China and my you comfort of my that. living room. Oh, like, well, I mean, not I your living room. like I don't want to, mm-hmm. I don't yeah, have, but I'm not going to pay. Yeah. I'm not. You know, I don't want to, you know, spend $500 on yeah. my VR. Well, if you also want to spend <laughs> $3,000 to walk around, yeah, yeah, you that, certainly yeah. can. For um, sure. You, the Mars, you know, like, uh, to be able to sit on Mars and look around and look at the rovers doing their things. I, that will never happen for me in my life that I want to do that. Ever. Uh, yeah, that's what movies. I, this is such a simple thing, but I think it's so cool. Uh, the right? 360 movies. You know, well, they're doing the 360 view movies. Yeah, right? but mm-hmm. even this, the fact that even right now with the Oculus um, VR for the Samsung phones you can mm-hmm. get, there's the... My buddy has one of those. those yeah. Actually well, there's the fun. Oculus Cinema where you are in... A movie theater. A movie theater yeah. and you can mm-hmm. watch Netflix. You can just watch Netflix on a movie theater and you're by yourself. I would just... No one Naked. would see me again. Yeah. yeah. Well, like PlayStation just, has like a theater mode as well. So yeah. you can play your current games with that setup. And that could be pretty cool. That could actually enhance what currently exists. And it could make movies better. Could just make, to have like that option. Like, absolutely. and HoloLens showed it in their first video, like yeah. their first demo. Yeah, first, when, yeah the very first thing. They, the TV and, and he like, and he like Iron Manned it, right? Yeah. And like made like this full screen thing. And I was like, you can't even do that because your field of view is like, I can make it huge and I still want to <coughs> see the size of a monitor. Yeah. So, yeah, dude, HoloLens for sure, but not maybe for another five years or so. I think it's going to take a while for that to get to where it needs to be. Yeah. And we've got Google Cardboard here. Like, we can show you some cool stuff. But yeah, like, there, all the cool there stuff. are some downsides to the the 3d films right so there's um there's one really good one on there that's like there's these two people on a beach and there's uh there's this girl who has this like crazy inner thoughts and there's a guy who has like these lovey inner thoughts and you can only hear them if you're looking at them Hmm. and the first time you are doing it if you don't realize what's going on and you're not looking at them you don't hear it like you miss key dialogue so if you're watching like like an actual movie where you had to hear you know, Tom Hanks talking to Leonardo DiCaprio and I'm looking over here and I'm like, oh shit, look at this toilet in the corner. That's cool. <laughs> well, I have no idea what that guy just said. Why is it going counterclockwise? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Was this shot in Australia? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so. But at the same time, like, you know, that kind of, that kind of, oh, go ahead. Before you leave tonight, we have a bunch of Google Cardboards here. Mm-hmm. It's rudimentary VR, but it will change your life and how you feel about the tech. I want you to try it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm um, already down. I was down before mm-hmm. you said it. Yeah. yeah. You like dick it's, in my butt? It's yeah. like yeah. really best pantsless, in my opinion. And like, I mean, I'm not even wearing pants right now. So and yeah. I know. I see, <laughs> I see what Gordy's doing there. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> um, let's move on before chat fucking, or before the whole yeah. stream falls apart. Um, so, uh, real quick, we could talk mm-hmm. about it just because I didn't get a chance to really research. He doesn't know. Nobody knows. So Nobody knows things. Regale us. About the thing. shall I take the lead? Yeah. So <laughs> do it, they just they just announced this week that they are going to try and do a video game Olympics, and it's going to kick off in Brazil. And their goal is that there will be tryouts for video games. There'd be specific team members. They'd be treated just like Olympic athletes, and they would go to like a location every four years. Um, they were, I think they were talking about Tokyo in like 2020 or something like that. And I think you saw yeah. Korea is the one in between Brazil yeah. and uh, yeah, North Korea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, Korea. it's on the southern side. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they they were very explicit in saying this. They're like, this is not for money. This is for pride. Like you're literally playing for a medal. And I was like, um, it's like, it's like first grade. Why not, field why not day. both? <laughs> I was like, yeah. you know, in video games, you can play for money. You can play for a lot of money, yeah. more money than you're making in a year. Yeah. Right. These guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's silly. That, that just says to me that they don't recognize it as a real sport. I mean, Gordy, Gordy. Oh, Gordy. he's got an opinion. Gordy, stuff that. They, nope. Uh, stuff it in your mouth. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Shove it in your mouth. Sit, Gordy. In, sit in his lap. So <laughs> does that mean that Olympic, uh, like, Olympians are not real athletes. Is that what you're saying? 
No, because I think that the Olympians make so much money on the Olympics. Out of sponsorships. Out of sponsorships. Out of sponsorships. That's, but that's, that's true. what's going to happen with these no, guys is I mean, they're going to get sponsorships. You're not wrong. That's a good point. No, I, I mean, I, they'll, I, they'll, okay, so they'll make money out of sponsorships, but currently you have a model where, um, you know, like a player like Snake Eyes or whatever, mm-hmm. who's in the Capcom Cup of guys. Snake Eyes. What about Storm Shadow? The guys. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, the, the guy's just a killer or whatever, and he's, he's sponsored by Red Bull. So he's going to go to Evo and play for a lot of money and get sponsored yeah, like why? Like it was just the way that they worded it that bothered me. They weren't. Uh-huh. They were like, instead of just saying like, "Hey, we're playing for pride. This is going to be the Gamer Olympics. You could be the best Call of Duty player in the world." They're like, "You're not playing for money. Let's get that out there right now." But you also get pride. Yeah, and it was uh, like, uh, "That's worded weird." Phrasing. Yeah, yeah so, I'll have to read it. But it it did make me start to think that like we're going to have the capability that like esports is going to start to eclipse like um, casual athletes we'll call them in terms of media, right? Like Olympians, like Olympians, we really only hear about them every four years or so, you know? And then like, people are like, Oh yeah, I love that person. Go America or whatever. But then they kind of fall off. We would be able to do that with like a video game guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That, that would be weird though. Like, you know how the Olympics are dominated in certain, uh, by certain countries and certain things, you know, we have like amazing amenities for our Olympians. So Americans usually, you know, place in the top uh, at the Olympics, like like video game Olympics, it's going to be like South Korea and Japan, like dominating the top. You know, it's true. It's oh yeah, games. it's super true. Yeah, <clears throat> I wonder what games they have. No, absolutely. They wonder- were talking about expanding their games, but I didn't see like an active list. Like it was. Ju- I mean, this is pretty premature announcement. Starcraft two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're out yeah. again. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's already dominated. Yeah, you must yeah. construct additional yeah. pylons. You must construct additional pylons. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. But like, would you would you play in something like that? Like, would you even try out for it, knowing that there's no financial reward? You're gonna have to like self fund yourself until the day that you dominate, and then hopefully Cheerios puts you on a box or something. Yeah. Put myself right into a Wheaties box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> I, I would be super stoked if instead of it was Wheaties, if like a Nintendo cereal came back and they like put all the big like Nintendo. esports stars. I'm there. Then yes, Nintendo. It's a Nintendo. cereal now. <laughs> oh shit. Um, yeah, esports. We're esports now, guys. Ugh. Yeah, the esports are coming. Uh, shall we? Move on to Ooh, good points, chat. Thinking that the what are they uh, without uh, well, they're saying that like sponsors all the way, yeah, and with yeah. no money, the bonus would fall off. Mm. Of course, I I do I do always wonder like how much sponsors have any kind of play in that. Gordy is like, a game racist. Do you drink Red Bull because Snake Eyes is sponsored by him, or do you use Razor because PL no. is sponsored by him? Or? I wouldn't use Razor if someone fucking gave me money to play with those sticks. Yeah. Yeah. They do. <laughs> yeah, they're like, here's money in a stick. Yeah, be like, like, uh, but no, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna use that money to buy a Hori stick. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'll, keep, I'll, I'll keep the sticker on I'm the a, front. I'm gonna get DK. <laughs> you very clearly have like a wrap yeah, for a Hori <laughs> stick with a, just like a razor sticker on top of it. And you get DQ'd immediately. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, shall we break into self fund yourself? Yeah, right. Who's that guy? Yeah, not not it. Yeah, they started with Gamer. Yeah. When you started with Gamer, self funding went out the window. Oh yeah. yeah I can't. Is that guy's name Fetus? <laughs> is that uh, is fetus is that is that Aaron? Is that Tenderoni? I hope so. I think so. that's the best Twitch handle I've ever seen. <laughs> Good job <laughs> score on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually fetus. Fetus. He's like uh, if Cobra Commander fetus. was talking about fetus. <laughs> Guys, fetus. <laughs> <laughs> um. Cobra. La, 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 la. <laughs> yep. Okay, shall we break into the classic game showcase of the mm-hmm, evening? Mm-hmm, right. mm-hmm. Who goes first? Gordy. Gordy should always should always go first. Yeah, Gordy kick it off. Gordy. Um I forget what Oh game. that is you. Oh yeah, he did a good game. He did a good thing. Fetus AD, that's what I'm gonna call him. <laughs> yeah. Is that Tender Oni? Yeah. Oh cool. What up, Tender? Oni? Well, give me a second. Yep. Slacker. There we go. Yeah. Don't give them any props. What do you got, Gordy? Talk about it. Did All you right? did you put it on screen? Ooh. Oh yeah, he's here. No, I didn't. There you go. That's helpful. It makes a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, for the viewers at home, we're totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is uh, Enter the Matrix. Uh-huh. Long play video. Thank you, internet. Um, Can maybe skip to gameplay. This is like people play. Yeah. So what was cool people about play. it, and I want to talk about the people play, <laughs> <laughs> is that um, they filmed this. Is this Sewer this... Shark? What, what? Is this Sewer Shark for Sega CD? 
that I'm looking at? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was filmed during, uh, you know, production of one of the movies. So they have all the big name actors in it. And then they have a few, you know, sub characters like Naomi and Ghost who were not huge parts in the movie. Nice. But so it's like to, actual set and stuff, which yeah. is super cool. So you, they give you a skeleton to what was going on behind the scenes during the movie. Um, that kind of plays out as you play through the game. It's so this is kind of like cool. Quantum Break in its day. Yeah, so like you're watching The Matrix and you're like, oh, I know why he ended up there because of the game and vice versa. So it's like But not only that, super exciting. but the game was sick, was it not? The game was awesome. Let's uh, skip this and play it. Let's do it. Um, so it was nothing like the last movie. No. Jared's leaving right now. He has to go pee. pee? Send pics. Um... So anyway, the game had core mechanics based off of the concepts in the um, movies. It had bullet time and stuff like that. Yep. So you could slow down, you could trip someone and punch them. And, and the melee combat around. was actually like really fun. If I Dude, remember. it was so fun. This, was, uh, this what game, system was this on? This is Xbox and PS2. Yeah, it was okay. a commercial failure, but it was consistently had high rank, high, pretty high um, scores. So... I, I don't know what is up with that. I don't. Oh, I never well, understood it. Here's here's gameplay. Um, yeah, shit, dude. I'm glad you picked this. Um, this was such a fun game, and you could pick as either Jada Pinkett Smith or Asian guy, right? Ghost. Ghost. Yeah, there's yeah. Neo, right? Yeah. Um, I wish she like would bust out Ghost. in her weird metal game personas. That see that bullet time looks awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, for for the time. Yeah. yeah. It was actually like, here. Let's uh, switch to you guys for a second. Okay. Huh. Okay. Oh, hey. bring, bring us back. Hey. Bring us back. And our empty cam. Rest in oh, peace. Rest in rest peace, peace, Jared. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, Justin knows this game was good. Oh, and GameCube. Oh, uh, was it GameCube too? I forgot about the game. You know, it's funny. Everybody's like, "Yeah, this was a cool game." Everybody enjoyed it, and, and it was badly received. So, like, critics were bashing on this, or what? Yeah, actually, um, it got <clears throat> poor reviews from critics, but in terms of fans, it's super cool. I mean, like, I wonder what their beef was because they okay, so they're using cutscenes from the actual movie, which is super quality to have a trait like that. Nobody else was really doing that, you know. Right at the time, the gameplay looks solid the gameplay enough. Was very fun. Um, oh, somebody followed. Who is it? Yes. I got a tenderoni. I got a tenderoni. Yeah, it was it was a super fun game. I, I, you could there was also an element where you could hack. Like the whole game started out with like. The same way the Matrix did with like a black screen and you know Those? someone talking to you, and uh, you uh-huh. would kind of hack the game. You know yeah. what I'm talking they about. Had that whole hacking. You had to like, you actually had to do a little bit of hacking. They simplified it. Hack the planet. Yeah. But uh, it was super fun. Super Good fun pick game. this week, Gordy. Way better than Cruising USA. <laughs> <laughs> I also enjoyed that game. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you can put that with your judgment. San, San Francisco Rush. <laughs> Uh, cool. Isn't that the one we actually got footage of? It was San Francisco <laughs> Rush. I forget what it was. Like Gordy wanted to pick one, but we ended up with footage of the other one. Where I, where I was like, this isn't cruising. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to say about it, Gordy? You know, like, it's cool because you see, I just, you know, wanted to show a little bit more about oh, sure. how it's got, you know, people from the movie. Uh-huh. Scenes that were, could have been cut scenes, you know, or scenes from the movie and they actually pulled them into the game. Yeah. So it was a huge production. I'd love to see that again. That that whole concept. Maybe you should play Quantum Break yes, since yes. we game share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see that again. You own it. Actually, <laughs> so good news there. Yeah, cool man. Good pick, Gordy. Good pick. Uh, you want to go next, buddy? New guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna show. Uh, he's just enamored. He's like, I just want to watch more gameplay. Let's watch more Matrix. Okay, hold on. Let me get this set up. Something about like dun, 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 like dun, dun, the modern gamer mentality. Yeah. Like you start watching other people play a game, and everybody just is like. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't remember what you picked. I picked uh, Sunset Riders. Oh yeah, and yeah. I, I yeah, you said that, and I was like, what? Sun- what game is that? Yeah, it was uh, it was actually an old arcade game. I can't remember. I can't remember. Is this it? it? This is right. This is it. Yeah. No. Um, I played it on the Super Nintendo. Um, but it used to be an arcade game, and you could have four four different cowboys. It depends on which one you pick. Like the old uh, X Men arcade. <laughs> you know, wherever you put the oh, quarters yeah, yeah. in as a cowboy, you are. And uh, <clears throat> basically, you're just you know you could be Steve, Steve or Bob. I think. Oh, so it's like Steve. Street Fighter. It's like Street yeah. Fighter, yeah. yeah. It's it's um, and basically what you're trying to do is you uh, you're bounty hunters, and you're trying to get different rewards for taking down the boss at the at the end of the game. 
Oh, and cool. uh, this yeah, you said you were playing yeah. this recently, right? Yeah, on yeah. my on my oh, Super oh, Nintendo yeah. with my buddy. Oh, Mono. What? What? Yeah. How was this game in a game I never played? What the fuck? It's it's amazing. It's it's hard. It's it's a little bit difficult. Um, but like you can see the bullets coming at you and quote best boss battle show guest so far. Holy shit, Sunset Riders was my life. Wow. Yeah, dude, Sunset You're Riders. You're resonating mm-hmm. with these mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Sausage fest for the win. Devs. Yeah, um, I always played with Steve just because Steve, and he had the most ridiculous outfit, or uh, Cormano. Um, but yeah, it uh, it was really it was really fun. I, each, oh, so it's like a side scroll. Yeah, and each one of the cowboys <laughs> was a little bit That's was a little silly. bit different, and uh, you get you get different power ups uh, depending on oh, uh, what you run over. You get like double guns, or you get faster rapid so fire. We all know that back in the day when we were younger. Games that were ported from arcade to Super you Nintendo shot and that stuff. Chick in the face. It's, weren't super it, it's, great ports. Was this a good port? Um, it's better in the arcade. Well, it's, it's as making, it always is. It, you know, yeah. when you get burnt by the fire, you see these cows coming across. You don't actually see them run over the people, and you can't play four players, of course, on, on, the, on uh, the Super yeah. Nintendo. Yeah. Is this arcade footage? This is arcade. At, yeah. yeah what, does is, it look, what does it say up there? Run for insert it. coin. Insert coin. You can't do well, that. Well, they still, the they still do that. It, it, it does well, they say still press, do that. It says like press start. You look at it all the other It says press stuff. start on the Super Nintendo. I think it Turbo Graphics or something. Um, Turbo Graphics, I think, had some kind of weird port of this, too. But it depends on the cowboy you're playing. Like, you see him. He's got, like, two pistols, and he can kind of shoot to the side. Well, if you play one of the shotgun guys, you just get a spread. You know, because it's, it's a little bit different depending on who you play with. So gotcha. It's one of those things that you don't just have to play through one time. And it's super cheap uh, when you get to the... Uh, the Native American in the game. He's hella cheap. I like how you're trying to be like racially kind of sensitive P- yeah, right like PC about everything. Yeah. <laughs> PC, bro. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, is this guy pretty good or is the game mega easy? Uh, he's, oh, no. This game's not super easy. This this boss, though, when it gets right past in the, the dick. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> IP dead in one shot. <laughs> yeah, no. This um, this guy's okay, I guess. But you should be able to get at least to the third or fourth You don't have to throw shade at him without, like that, without, but... take, without taking a hit. <laughs> this guy's okay. So, Straight up, threw it out there. You're like, oh, he's all right with my money. Yeah, We've always done that. Like, there's always been like one week where we're watching footage, and I'm like, I'll take that guy right now. Come on, give <laughs> yeah. me some quarters. One v one, me, bro. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> super, yeah, super, super entertaining. It's got these horse riding scenes, which are which are a lot of fun. Now, in the Super Nintendo version, you couldn't duck down onto your horse like you can in this one, which kind of made it a little lame. But man, I cannot. So this is like I've a skateboarding scene. Yeah, yeah, saying. it's yeah. it's the sewer surfing scene. You yep. know, it, Gord, did you ever play this? Did we play it? And I forget. No, this looks awesome. It's awesome. Or maybe it was just like my weird hatred for uh, Western stuff when I was a kid that I just ignored it. Dude, we could probably, but, you could probably yeah. download this on your emulator. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I probably already have it. I downloaded the whole library of SNES games. So All of them? Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. You got Mega Man Soccer in there? I don't not have Mega Man Soccer. That's a good one. Yeah, that actually was <laughs> good. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, cool. That's a good pick. Good pick. I'd play that. Yeah. Uh, Timmy? I'll go. Bring up my footage. It's. Give me that mic. I'm about to spit. <laughs> Mookie. Dick is crit point. Always. Yeah. True that. True that. <laughs> Dick crits. <laughs> That's some sensitive spots. Uh, what did you get again? So from Eidos on the PlayStation 1, I bring to Eidos. You. Is that the... That's the boss from original Killer Instinct. Yeah, Idol or something. Idol. I bring you Fighting Force. <laughs> so this was also a game I've never a, played. Uh, so it was like a uh, like a beat 'em up, right? But it had like some kind of like three D elements to it. But your character was like this hybrid of like a fighting game, but he would also have the ability to pick up guns, which was super oh, yeah. cool. It's got that chick that looked like Blood Rain. A little bit. Oh yeah, totally. I do remember yeah. this game. Like Hell this yeah. game, like super, like flew way under the radar, right? Like the, it huh? didn't have any kind of like mass media appeal or anything. And overall, it looks kind of boring. But then once you actually get into gameplay, Gordia, uh, bust up to some gameplay here while we wait for this. Is guy this to... the PlayStation or N sixty four version of this? Uh, this should be the PlayStation version if it's the footage that I believe we've got, and that's the version that I had it for because I had both. I had PS one and yeah. Nintendo sixty four. Um, but I always played on PlayStation. Yeah, because PlayStation, uh, duh. It, yeah, it did have a sequel. Um, oh, look at all that blood effects. Exactly. A little guy, bit of gore. That guy looks like Marcus Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> you nice. gotta smash the gate if you want to get through. Dom, I'm coming. Just boots. Hey, he knocked the gate down. Boots and pants and boots. Yeah. And, and like, of course, like the tropes in the game are always like the same. Like, you get like the hero dude, you get the overly buff guy, you get like the sexy girl mother. The overly buff girl. I always get mm-hmm. the sexy girl mother. I don't know what you're talking about. I like how they're just called punks. Oh, yeah. The bad guys. Yeah, the punks. Yeah. Oh, no. The you guy know, just got uh, fucking bodied. 
By a van. If a, a van, rape van. You know, if I hit somebody with a van and he stands up, I'm not about to engage yeah, him in a no, fight. Yeah, no, I'm going to keep driving. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you know what? That guy's pretty tough. So we're just going to oh, leave these, him right This guy's name at. is Slasher. Oh, man, I love, the, Smash R. I love the name of Goons. This game was awesome. I do remember What's this, this guy's name? Good. Pick him. Kick him. Crusher. crusher. No, that's the Crusher. Oh, yeah, that guy's rough. Crusher. Smiler. Smiler. Oh, Smiler. <laughs> Smiler. <laughs> Smiler got shafted in the name department. They're like, all right, guys, time, time, time to get your bad guy names. You'll be Smiler. Aww. Uh, Bruiser. Nobody banger. wants to be Mr. Pink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? They really dropped the ball with that. There's like a guy named Tom in there yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Smasher, Basher, and Tom. And Reginald. Yeah. Teabag action. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, cool, man. It also looks like it's a, a decent time. It actually, it's a good one. This was multiplayer, too, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was totally multiplayer. Yeah. This guy's going solo at it. Look at that. Oh, oh no, oh. not Slasher. <laughs> Jez! Jez. I'm, I'm jazzing all over the place. <laughs> oh, Slasher and Master, I bet they're tight. Dude, he's blocking. <laughs> Go watch them blocks. Yep. Cool. Uh, good one, yeah. Block and punish all day long. Okay. <laughs> the PS1 demo disc. PS1 demo disc comes Dude, up every single week we do this. Every That's week why you buy the show. magazines. Like, mom, can I get the PlayStation yeah. or magazine? Pizza Hut? Pizza Hut. Yep. Yeah. Get that Tony Hawk going. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess I'll go. Mm-hmm. My pick is War Gods. Oh, wow. For I do believe I played it on the Nintendo <laughs> sixty four, and um, you know, uh, it was also on maybe PlayStation, but uh, this was a Midway game, so it's like Midway was ripping off their own franchise, of course. <laughs> <laughs> for uh. And I don't know. I that love looks it. nothing like Mortal Kombat, like how they how they do that. Right. They At, even use the same font for the yeah. combo still. Um, see, the, th- the thing about this game is that I was... This is at the height of my... Well, not the height, but I was so into classic <laughs> MK games. <laughs> <laughs> I was so into classic MK games, and I was just, just itching for something new. And when this came out, it was dance. by the same... Mm-hmm. Publisher, I was like, oh, fuck yeah, I'm all over it. Yeah. I was all about War Guns. Uh, I do have some bad news. Um Warhead was recently diagnosed with cancer. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's no. why he danced so weird. Yeah. He's like, yeah. He doesn't have any testicles. <laughs> He's got no nuts. Um, so let me tell you a story. I've told this story before, but there's people that have are new mm-hmm. to the show. There's some new look, there's even here. fatalities. There's like actual. It says fatality. It says fatality. Mm-hmm. Like that you can't. Finish look, him. just do it. Look. Da, 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 da. Oh, no. Like it's so much fallout. Wow. Nuclear warhead. Yeah. yeah. He actually look, hit, hit so Warhead much, wins. So much exposure though. Fatality. Like they fucking straight jacked that shit. And it was okay because it was the is same Is that a public. Kabuki warrior? <laughs> yeah. His name is Kabuki. I think. Yeah. No, it's not. I don't that know guy is actually from Legends of the Hidden Temple. <laughs> yeah. Like when you had to run the final <laughs> level. <laughs> I got my half medallion. I get out of here. Right? <laughs> so uh, I'm bringing that back by the way. What? Yeah. Fuck off. Of the head Dude, I read some like haunting article about it the other day where they were talking about what? like how gonna... fearful the children were of the show itself, which is why nobody oh. completed it. I was scared for it. And them. on top of it, <laughs> like the filming process was like 16 hours long. Whoa. So by the time they actually got to run it, like they were tired and just like fucking discombobulated and stuff. Yeah. I did that on purpose. Well, those kids are pussies. I would have been all about that show. Yeah, but like, finally, get to run the gauntlet. Yeah. Uh, get, will they allow like 35 year olds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I'm here. Fuck up. That guy kids. shows up to take your medallion and just beat the hell just out of him. Suplex him. Yeah. him you came to the wrong room, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, there was this kid named Orlando who lived down the street from us, and I fucking borrowed him War Gods. Borrowed him. Borrowed him. <laughs> borrowed him. Gave him War what? Gods. Borrowed him. No, I let him borrow. You let him borrow. Yes, fuck. That was a Gordy Gordyism. Uh, look, it's Moloch. Dude, he got bodied. There. Uh, anyway, uh, and uh, he um, game over, son. He <laughs> stole it from me, and he moved, and uh, I was super upset about it, Boo. as you should have been. Yeah, yeah. And uh, years later, like in two thousand like nine or, or something, I was working at Home Depot, and he was there. Right, <laughs> and I was like, "That's a fucking kid that stole war- so he stole war gods from me." The fucking cock. And I was so I was bitter towards the dude yeah. as it was. Anyway, and he was like a prick to me, right? He didn't say nothing, but he was just like, <laughs> you know, all snuffy and shit. And <laughs> one day, look at that thong hanging out there. Yeah. So what? Just putting out the just putting out the vibe. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so one day, I'm in the garden department, and I'm over the job as it is because it's Home Depot. Because it's Home Depot. This guy Orlando walks past me, right, and unprovoked, he just is like, "Faggot," and I was like, I just was like, man. Mm-hmm. War gods and this now I- and I just fucking threw them into a bunch of potted plants, <laughs> and uh, I got fired on the spot. They were like, "You're fucking out of here." I was like, "No, I quit." 
Yeah. <laughs> this is for War Gods. And uh, that was my last experience. This is for you, Warheads. This is and, for um, you, Warheads. <laughs> he now works at Best Buy. Fatality. And does, like, weird stuff to girls, I guess, yeah. from what I've heard. Uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm not naming They're names. probably confirmed. If you're the type of dude who steals War Gods, you're the type of dude yeah. that you steal does War Gods. And then drop the, the F-bomb on somebody, just yeah. unprovoked. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I uh, knew a girl who, like, used to hook up with him, and she would tell me, like, horror stories, like, about... Just, I'm not going to talk about it, but... But, I mean, we gonna talk about it. <laughs> I mean, everybody was just like, "Well, <laughs> and, um, so." Anywho, um, what's your fault, Orlando? Good for you for getting put on blast on stream. I never got war gods back though. I should have like reached up inside of his stomach and pulled mm-hmm. it out. Yeah, take like, his appendix or something. I knew as you collateral. were. I knew you were hiding <laughs> this. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, that's the end of uh, our shit. We don't have any more content. Content's gone. Chat, you got anything? Yeah, if anyone's got any questions or whatever, where would you hide war gods? <laughs> Gordy. Uh, like the back seat of a vw no mm-hmm. dude all right so i was talking i was, knew this chick that he was hanging up with <laughs> and he would say that he would engage with her engage. via the wrong hole mm-hmm. and then the navel. he would <laughs> then, no matter how you word it it's going to be bad. <laughs> and then he would... But he's keeping it like, a, yeah. like right? Yeah. So I'm going to be as PG as PG, possible. right? Okay. And then his fetish okay. would be that after he completed his mission in the alternate Dimension. door, right. that she would then prop herself in such a position that it would drip out. And he would eat it like a hot, like a hot Carl. Is that what they call them? Well, it's like a frosty machine. Frosty. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What do they call it? The frosty. They call it the Orlando. The Orlando. The <laughs> Orlando. And uh, anyway, so every time I see him in Best Buy now, I'm like, you fucking eat your own yeah, shit. You frosty motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> frosty eating something. <laughs> you dip your fries in that. <laughs> Just hand, him a, just hand him a box of french fries there's so many eats. fucking phrases everyone's yeah. like dirty sanchez that's not what a dirty sanchez no, dirty is. San- no a dirty the, sanchez is a wipe yeah, yeah you, you, you make fucking, the mustache you make the mustache right? you stick your the, finger in your button and you go yeah <laughs> and then the the hitler is the same but you just you do, mark oh, the middle nice i like yeah. that oh uh, cool good to know the more you know new stuff for me and live savage to try <laughs> out <laughs> <laughs> hey babe so I was thinking about Orlando today <laughs> yeah. come here live Sanchez <laughs> uh, I can't think of a better note to end on after that though yeah yeah. Adam just killed the show <laughs> we were done anyway <laughs> okay uh, anything uh, well definitely of course we always thank our guest for coming out yeah. yeah thanks for having me again the mythical I, world of eastern Colorado. eastern Colorado yeah again I misspelled his Twitter handle so don't try to follow that it's, yeah it's not I yell folks it's I yell, I yell at, at folks. folks like directed toward people yep. yeah he's like mm-hmm. um, <laughs> packs bags no nope. you stay put hmm. I, mm-hmm. I got, I got go. I, I've got ideas I yellow folks <laughs> um, to this chair yep so definitely check him out uh, people in the stream that you should definitely follow of course Mookie is an awesome streamer as well as fetus those guys both are pretty phenomenal yep. at what they do Mookie um, also is part of the cartridge kids and they have a pretty sweet YouTube so please check nice. that out mm-hmm. as always um, life on Mars and she's got a YouTube she's another thing she's a youtuber and um I don't know. Does I don't know. anybody else in there? Anybody does, else? Does Fetus have a, a YouTube? Does Justin do Twitch? I don't know anything? if either of them do. I know. I know. I, Fetus streams occasionally. I've caught him streaming before. Does Justin stream? Showing him. I don't th- I, uh, he hasn't shared it with me. Yeah. Justin, share with me. Yeah. If he does, I'm just, I'm just waiting for him to just ban the yeah. link. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, uh, Nightbot bans links. Otherwise, I don't no, encourage Justin's a cool guy, such things. So. Um, yeah, I don't know if he's still in here. STB no. Israfel is also. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, STB Israfel and STB Competitor. Shout out to the STB team. They mm-hmm. are Mortal Kombat guys, both competitive, both excellent players. Um, they both do some streaming. Absolutely. Actually, Israfel streams YouTube like in. numerous times a day. Yeah. I know. So, what's guys, what's the, his schedule like? It's whenever he feels it's like all it. over the place. Yeah. Um, yeah, you should, Justin. We would totally support that. Uh, so yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, so it sounds like everybody in the stream tonight is yeah somehow in their own, does their own thing. So mm-hmm. everybody should check out everybody's stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, if I didn't call you out, I apologize. I but by all means, pump your stuff in the chat. So. But again, goddamn, thanks, thanks for, for having me, you guys. Thank yeah. you to our producer yeah. Gordy behind the Gordy. mic. Um, no, I was super stoked to have you on the show until you said you dug judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Okay, Gordy, play us out.